guys and welcome back for another quick Tuesday video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about stitch length. What it is, which ones I like to use, and how to adjust your stitch length on your machine. This is the second video in my Sewing 101 series. So if you want to check out the first one, I'll leave that in the information icon. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you did that. Hit the notification bell and of course smash that like button as the kids like to say. So this is my machine. This is a Brother CP7500. This is an entry level machine. Um, it's a great beginner, very user friendly. I'll leave a link in the description box below to a machine that's very similar to this. I don't think you can get this exact model anymore, but I can find one that is very similar to this. Stitch length is just basically how long your stitches are. So most machines start with a zero to five numerical system, sort of. Um, but basically one is one millimeter, two is two millimeters, three, and so on until you get to five millimeters long. Why you would use a one millimeter, not too sure. It's very small. Um, mine goes down to a point two which when I start to sew with a point two, my machine basically doesn't do anything. It just stays still. So I'm thinking that those are probably meant for some of these stitches up here. But I wouldn't go any lower than a two when I make my projects. For most of my projects, I'm gonna hover around a 2.5. That's my go-to stitch. That's the default on this machine. So when I turn it on, I'm always gonna be at a 2.5. That's a great stitch, a strong stitch, and also when you are sewing, the lower your stitch length, the longer it takes for your fabric to go through the machine. So, you know, that also takes into effect. I like to go up to a three stitch length when I do my top stitching. So I'm gonna show you a project of what I did. So here's an example of a project where I made the whole thing with a 2.5 stitch length. But when I go and do decorative things, such as top stitching on my card slots or top stitching along the zipper, then I'm gonna bump it up to a three. I personally find that a three stitch length looks the nicest when it comes to top stitching. So those types of areas aren't gonna have a lot of stress from pulling or things like that. So it's okay to use a little bit of a longer stitch length. But if you're gonna be using, say we're gonna go into this pocket all the time, you want those stitches to be nice and strong. Or if you're gonna be pulling on your zipper, you want those to be strong too. But that top stitch is purely decorative, so it's okay to bump up your machine. Now for a four stitch length and a five stitch length, those ones get pretty long. So I'm gonna show you an example. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So here is my four and my five. If you're gonna be working with a four and a five, you're most likely gonna be working with projects where you are going to be basting things, maybe temporarily, so that when you go to rip the stitches out quickly, it won't take as long. Also, if you're going to be gathering your fabric, you will most likely go up to a five. Because those stitches are so far apart, if you need to pull on one of your threads to gather your fabric, it's gonna be a lot easier to do it with a five as opposed to a two, like a two or a three, just because there's gonna be more resistance trying to pull those stitches. So you usually go up to a five when you're gonna gather your fabric. So I'm gonna say a four and a five for basting, a five for basting and four ruffles and a three for top stitch, and then a 2.5, which is right in the middle of the road, at a two and a three is where I'm gonna use for most of my construction for the majority of my projects. So on my machine, I have a minus and a plus button, so I just go ahead and adjust as I go. Some machines will have a dial such as this. This is my tension, but on some machines, they'll have another dial and that will be your stitch length. On my mom's old Kenmore, she would have the dials and then you would choose your stitch length from up there. So I hope this all made sense to you and you learned a little bit about stitch length and now you know that when you go to sew any of my projects or any of my tutorials, you're gonna probably stick with a 2.5 and then always make sure you bump it up to a three and I always 
talk about that throughout my videos. I will always mention it. So um, you should never have any difficulties when you're working on any of my projects. But if you are new to sewing, I hope that this helps and definitely look out for new um, new and future sewing 101 videos so you can learn a little bit more and if you have any requests for videos then of course leave that in the comments below and I can try to get those videos out for you so that you can learn and I can get as much information out there as possible to make your sewing journey easier. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys!